Hi everyone, so I'm going to talk about Tylomelania, the rabbit snails, and it's a whole entire genus of dioecious, meaning they are not hermaphrodites, simultaneous hermaphrodites, they have males and females, but you can't actually sex them. And they are brilliant snails for almost, well, most aquariums of a higher tropical range of around 25 to 28 degrees, but I've noticed no difference in activity or depending on temperature. They are very active snails and they do make a great alternative to apple snails. In the UK and in the EU, apple snails and mystery snails are banned under the EU um, invasive laws, well invasive legislation so they cannot be bred, sold or traded, given away within the EU and this has been around for about 10 years so there shouldn't really be any around so rabbit snails are really great and they're not rapid breeders they produce maybe one baby every so often and the babies are very small they are live bearers and i have baby well you see the video or photos whatever i could find of them and they are great they tend to eat anything i put in they are not fussy they eat the courgette i put in for the plex they eat the food I put in for the fish, they're quite, they are quite fast and they sort of heave themselves along. And you'll notice there's a lot of different colour varieties. Oh. And this isn't colour varieties, this is different species. There are loads of different species in this genus. I believe there's about 30, but telling the difference, well, good luck because I there's no way I know really which. And you probably need some um, snail taxonomist to know. And they're really hardy. Um, I would avoid keeping them with fish that will eat them. More fish that will pick them up, bash them, um, or suck them out their shell. I would, even with small loaches, I wouldn't say they're going to be any issue. They do when they are nervous. They will lock. Well, they have sort of like a cap on the shell. I'm not sure of the proper name. It does have a proper name and they sort of cap themselves in their shell and they have that long lovely turret shell and they are just colourful snails I guess they're not as pretty as mystery and apple snails and but they are really nice and they do go for the price range sort of around five to ten pounds um, sometimes depending on the species or variety but usually just depends where you go and they are reasonably common other snails are sort of like your narrow snails and they lay solid eggs onto things. They never hatch in freshwater and it kind of damages the, um, well, it's really, it's a pain to get off. You need a blade. I've tried. It's awful. Um, whereas these are live bears and they're not quick and you need a male and female of the same species to be able to breed them. So if you want a snail that doesn't breed, they're great. They're really great and they won't lay eggs everywhere because they're light bearers. Um, they do prefer harder water. They come from Sulawesi and they are quite threatened and many are well caught, which is an issue. But the lake is polluted because of mining in the area. Well, the lakes, because I think they come from multiple lakes in Sulawesi. They are very similar to the Sulawesi shrimp you don't see, but that is probably because they're known, I believe, for being a bit... Uh, well, sensitive, needing certain water perimeters. So am I recommending them being extracted from the world? Uh, I think that's a discussion in them in themselves. They are easy to be, so you can find plenty of people with them. So it's not hard to get captive bred ones, and no doubt some are captive bred. I have quite a few. Um, I probably have two three different species i don't know which ones are breeding because i think my platystachys eat the babies um and the only thing a lot of people say our oh, snails are great for keeping waste low great for dealing with this 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 they produce a lot of waste and this is a photo of my tank when i just had the snails in because um at that point of time i'd just taken the goldfish out and I just had the rabbit snails in there and they made trails of and um, poo everywhere. It is a lot of poo. They do produce a lot of waste and snails in general do. So they aren't going to clean your tank and they probably are quite a high bio load for a lot of the smaller tanks. People say they can grow in one gallons. 
shrimp are probably a better option there. But they are great and they do have a lot of activity. They, you might notice one of mine has these lovely like flaps to his tentacles because their eyes are on their head. Sort of like, it's very difficult, I'm not very good with snail anatomy. And he is lovely. There's also a very similar species, well, genus, well, the genus Faunus, which is brackish. They will only reproduce in brackish. They tend to do better in very hard water. And I've never kept them. I've seen them. I've been tempted. But Tylo Melani is probably a better option. And snails, don't be discouraged by pest snails. Pest snails aren't bad anyway. I have plenty. I'm happy with them. They don't overstock my tank. Um, and they are really just nice inhabitants if you want that ecosystem in marine people are happy to have snails so why not in fresh water um, I don't think they'd easily get attacked by assassin snails but I've never put them actually no I didn't put them together um, so that's sort of it there's not much to discuss about them really they are just easy easy to care for but very active um, they are a bit on the pricey side for snails although you get shrimp for a lot more and I do recommend looking into inverts um, personally I don't trust my platy stackers with shrimp um, and shrimp are quite expensive in the UK so all my banjos either all the goldfish I've seen goldfish chase <laughs> Um, Amanos, well, wait for them to come out of hiding and go for them. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry, I do ramble on. Um, um, I would like to set up a, a tank just for the snails, a small nano tank, but space for when I move. Anyway, thank you for watching.